really great idea for you. Why not make your next pizza in a pie plate? It's not gonna work, you say? I am here to tell you differently. Come with me on this journey and I will show you how to make a deep dish pie plate pizza. Super fun, super delicious. The first thing that you wanna do is oil your pie plate. That's the one thing that I have to warn you. You have to make sure that it's nice and oiled, otherwise it might stick. This is a meatball pizza, but we're not really making meatballs. We're just making a meat mixture. I have four ounces of a very lean ground beef, a tablespoon of dry breadcrumbs. The breadcrumbs will absorb any excess fat so it doesn't get too oily on top and make it just a tiny bit lighter. And then a quarter teaspoon of salt for seasoning and just very gently mix that together. It does taste like a meatball, but you don't have to go to the added work of rolling it all into little balls. Just dot it over the top, you'll see. I have 12 ounces of dough. This is a frozen pizza dough that I defrosted. What you wanna do is you wanna stretch your defrosted dough into about an eight inch round. Obviously, you can buy store-bought dough. This is basically amounts to a deep dish, sort of thicker crust pizza. And then what you do is you press it into the bottom and up the sides of the oiled pie plate. Now, if it's really springy, which sometimes happens, especially if you're working it a lot, what you wanna do is just let it sit for about five minutes, maybe 10 minutes, and the dough will relax enough that you can stretch it more. Spread a quarter cup of marinara onto your pizza dough. Three ingredient marinara. Tomatoes, garlic, olive oil. I mean, I'm not counting the salt, okay? Okay, spread the sauce on. Half of your grated mozzarella, which is two thirds of a cup total. Not the fresh, just the regular. And then drop clumps of the meat mixture over the top. Don't worry about rolling it, like I said. Oh, parm. I was supposed to do half of the parm too, so put half of your parm, which is two tablespoons total, with the first layer of mozzarella, then your meat, then the rest of the cheese. Do as I say, not as I do. And then drizzle with about a tablespoon of oil. Mostly around the edges of the dough, just so it gets nice and golden as it bakes. And then pop this into a 450 degree oven for 15 to 20 minutes and dinner is delish. Whoa, it's bubbling and delicious. I'm really excited. Theoretically, you're supposed to wait like five or 10 minutes because it's like moltenly hot. I'm not sure I can wait. A little bit of basil. How much do you like basil? I like it a lot. Adds waftability, adds flavor. Do this right before you want to eat it. And then just cut it into wedges. You know what's really good? Try cutting your pizza with scissors. It's actually a little bit easier to control than a knife. I'm just gonna go ahead and try it. I'm doing this for you guys. I'm gonna try it even though it's boiling molten lava hot. Mm. Ow. Mm. Ow. <laughs> it's so good. The crust is all golden brown and crunchy because of the oil and cooking in the pie plate. It's extra, extra delicious because you made it at home and it was super duper easy. Check out our May issue at everydayfood.com download the issue to get this and lots more fantastic recipes. Now my mouth is burned, but that's okay. I did it for you guys because I love you so much.